What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Say No More on the Nintendo Switch. This game is also available currently on PC and Mac, iPad, OS, and iOS. First off, I want to thank off Thunderful Publishing for sending me a code early for review. This game is going to be $14.99 on Steam and the Nintendo eShop $5.99 on the App Store for iOS and iPad. OS and say no more it launches on April 9th for PC console and again iOS hopefully the same day this video should be getting out to you guys so let's jump in this is a weird one when I say weird it's, it's definitely a weird game about screaming no to everyone literally no in the game's like description and press release it says learn how to say no in every conceivable way by playing the world's first NPG, which means a no playing game. <laughs> In a world where everyone sticks to the status quo of saying yes, create your own custom character and take on the role of an intern on a mission to change the world with the positive power of no. With this new power, nothing will get in your way as you shout no at any absurd request fired your way. Use simple controls, and when they say simple, they do mean simple, design for anyone to pick up and play and start working life through a predetermined path in a quirky office environment. When they say predetermined path, that's exactly what they mean. You're literally don't control your character, you just say no as your character moves around the office itself. And that feels very weird because as a person playing this game, I wanted to move my character and just like explore an environment. You can't do that in this game. As well as shouting no in your chosen language, use your no different emotional status to send them reeling. Confuse people with different actions to let their guard down and then charge up your no for an even greater effect on, on unsuspecting colleagues. In this press release, they kind of make it seem like, you know, you're saying no in different ways that certain NPCs or people you're going to talk to have different reactions and stuff depending on how you say no. And while that is true, you literally could just spam the default no to everyone across your path. And then once you get to a boss or like the end of a level, they will have like a certain NPC that you got to say no to differently. And that's kind of their justification on changing it up. Eh, it kind of falls flat because again, throughout the whole level, it feels like you could just have that angry no and just be like, no, no, no to everyone. To me, what makes this game shine, it's its story. Uh, the idea of an intern starting a new job at this place and while everyone is just telling interns what to do there's other interns everyone saying yes you just jumping out and just saying and no you're saying no so much to the point that you're working your way up the ladder at this job at this corporation and it is a funny comic relief style game to me a great palate cleanser after you know playing call of duty or fortnite for 100 hours a week i could jump into this and feel great after playing the game looks like a game out of the late 90s playstation 1 nintendo 64 style art here and it kind of does the game well it does that art style very well very clean you see facial expressions change depending on what you're saying and stuff like that it's done pretty cool your character walking animation is the weirdest thing but again it, it, it's okay because again the the visual style that they're going for kind of matches the weird walking animations the weird you know pop up like someone just falls on the ground and it pops back up it, it kind of matches with the art style one thing i did not like from the art style is that when you scream no a lot of stuff in the environment would just fly across the room and say for example, if a table flies across the room and you end up walking next to that table and then an NPC will walk next to that table, they won't even notice that the table is like on the floor or whatever. And sometimes it will literally, the table will block the end from you seeing the NPC and the game will just continue, move on as normal, not even notice that the field of view is blocked by an item that flew across the room or whatever. And I get it. I get it, rad dog physics to everything in the game, which it's pretty cool when you're screaming no and everything goes flying everywhere. However, it does break your immersion when you're 
in the game and you're screaming no and there's a table in front of the person that you're having a long conversation in front of it's kind of just like eh, i wish they cleaned that up a little bit besides that the game is actually pretty good the story again is pretty great the music oh my god the music bro the vibes of the music is pretty cool it's like a jazzy vibe to everything and Again, it, it fits the tone, it fits the like comedic vibe of the game. It, 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 it keeps you in the good mood, which is good. As a dad, will I recommend Say No More to kids? Yes, there isn't any blood, no violence, no you know guns, no shooting. It's just a game about personal growth, about someone learning how to say no in a way so they can better themselves. And I think that story is impactful enough to warrant a child to play the game my daughter is five years old will i let her play this of course and i think she will actually be able to get through the game because again the easy and simple controls she just has to learn how to say no in certain ways and maybe gesture in different ways because you could like laugh and you could like say hmm and stuff like that but if she could wrap her hands around that i think she'll be just fine to actually beating and completing this game there was actually no like difficult moment where i was just like what the hell do I, am I supposed to do? Or I, am, am I doing something wrong? It's just the game feels like you're on autopilot and it's letting you experience this story. Rather, you try to figure out how to experience the story. There is like this one thing in a game where the game kind of doesn't explain to you is that certain NPCs will display in their conversations in pink. And right off the back, I was like, wait, what's different about this? And I said no to the NPC and got a negative response. And then I immediately was like, wait a minute, am I supposed to just say yes maybe to this person? End up not saying anything because you can't say yes. And then the NPC would either, you know, give me a compliment or, you know, say nice things about me. So not everybody in the world is bad and that you need to scream no to. And again, the game doesn't kind of explain that, which is kind of weird. In certain times you could miss like little Easter eggs. They got an Easter egg to Pokemon, which I love in this game. But again, you can miss certain dialogues and stuff like that by saying no to these people. So I don't know if that's intended, but I, I really wish the game did a better job at explaining stuff like that. Besides that, this game, I think is pretty cool. It's definitely worth a playthrough. Is it worth the 15 though on Steam and Nintendo eShop? Maybe not. Wait for sale if it's coming directly from me. If you are a parent or, you know, of age and you want to go through a intense cool looking playstation 1 nintendo 64 arch style story game where you're not really button mashing or running down you know what i'm saying this is definitely a calm playthrough but to me for 14.99 uh, i don't know if it's something you're looking for then yes but but for me eh, i don't know however i am willing to actually drop the six dollars myself to try it out on ios on pad os to see how the game runs on the ipad which it shouldn't have a problem to especially with the fact that this game control wise might feel better on the app store because again you are just pressing one button so i think pressing one button on the touch screen will probably be easier especially if they have everything on display the different nodes and stuff like that so i might drop the six to check it out there but to me i don't know the 15 eh. and the game is not too long it's like i finished the whole thing in one night i gotta check my running time to try to narrow down exactly how much i spent on this game but as you can see i'll probably have it on screen so you guys can check it out now if i had to give this game a score which we are here to do i would give it a 7 out of 10 i think the only thing that i wish this game had done better is the environment building where the maybe the environment was open so you could walk around and talk to everyone in the environment yourself it kind of throws me out of it when i'm on rails walking around and i'm not controlling the character kind of threw me off as well as the conversation options i wish there was more dialogue options outside of just no that i could say certain times granted i know this game is about saying no more but i do wish there was a way to say no but then also explain yourself as well if that makes any sense let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on say no more if you're going to be picking it up let me know in the comment section below i answer all comments so again let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button 
for more videos just like this one. I am a variety channel, so I do tons of stuff. I'm trying to throw more reviews in the mix. So if you want me to review a game, let me know which one in the comment section below. And like I said, if you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton. As far as moving the video and to recommend this to other people, can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one